Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and MIUI is an awesome interface when it comes to features, customization and stability. We get updates for a longer time, it's smooth but nowadays they are pushing a lot of art in the UI and we ask them about it they call it as a business model. Business model in the sense, they are investing a lot of money in the me music, me video and building an app ecosystem in India so that the user will stick to MIUI for lifelong. But at the same time they are taking out that money from ads. Now ads are understa understandable because even we put ads on the website but it is limited and we also don't put pop-up ads. They are putting pop-up ads and they are putting ads everywhere they can from the settings app to the security app to the even app log. Now there is no option to disable it. There is an option called receive recommendation but that doesn't work at all. And I also try changing the locale because in some of the countries it is disabled. So I changed the locale to UK. For some people it works, for some people it doesn't work. For me it didn't work. So today we are going to show step by step guide to disable this thanks to a friend Devil. He posted a very good article in the me community which we will link in our website. So let's start. So first of all go to the settings, go to the about the phone and type and tap MIUI version several times. Now you will get an option that you are an already a developer or you are a developer. For me it's enabled that's why it's going you are already a developer. Now go to the additional settings, scroll down, go to the developer options. Now press turn on the developer options, okay, turn on the OEM unlocking, uh, turn on the USB debugging. Don't worry we are not unlocking our device just there, uh, turn on install via USB and also turn on USB debugging. Now this will work even if your bootloader is locked. I can form this and you have to just follow some simple steps. No root, no no bootloader unlocking. Just accept. I was just giving you warning that your device may be at risk. And again, for, proceed with your own risk. So we have enabled uh, all the options out there. Now we will just connect this to a computer and we will be right back. So guys we have connected our phone to a computer now we will proceed with the next step. So go to the link in the video description which will take you to a website and this is that article. Now we already did the step 1 so now we will go to the step 2 which is of installing adb drivers. So now just click on download and install. Click on adb.x and now it will take you to the drive page. So just download it and once it downloaded let's proceed with the installation. So I've already downloaded it. So let's install it adb.x and give them all the permissions that is required. Alright so now this window will pop up that is 15 second adb installer. Just press y enter. Again press y enter. Now it will install the drivers and yes click yes. We want to install device drivers also. So depending on your system it will install. And now another window will pop up. Just click next, next, and next. And it will take several minutes and it will install. Also, make sure you install this device software. Now, this is the important step. If you don't do this properly, then you won't find uh, ADB detected when, when we proceed to the further step. So, make sure you do this and reboot your device, and you should get a successful pop up that is all done. So, now let's proceed with the third step. So let's go to our website back and now you can see we already did these steps. Now the third step is to remove the MSA app. Now this MSA app is a main source for ads. So just follow these commands. So what we are going to do is copy this that is PM uninstall K user. Now just press start button R button. Now click CMD and press enter. Now the your command out might look different. I just customize it. No problem. Just click on ADB devices. Just type ADB devices, press enter. Now your device should be detected. If it is not detecting, then again install the drivers, reboot your computer, check your USB cable, or download the MePC suit. Now you can see the list of devices attached, and you can see Redmi Note 4 is detected. So now let's proceed with the further steps. We will do ADB shell. Now you will get a pop up on your phone. So make sure you click yes or else it won't work. So let's click yes and then we will proceed again. ADB shell, press enter. 
now you can see Mido is detected now we will just paste this code and it will uninstall the com.muy.msa.global so you can see uninstall is successful and they're done so you have successfully removed the main source of the advertisement so there you have it you have successfully removed the msa app which is the main source of ads and now you won't find any ads in the mui so let's see the security app there is no ads out there uh, in the music app you won't find any ad now this is the me music but you can see no ads no pop-up nothing now in some part of ui you will still find ads now that's because they have put those ads inside the app that they shipped it so for that basically what you can do is you stop using the app and force stop it or you can remove that app from the same way we remove the msa app so instead of com.msa.global you can put that app package name and you can remove it for me i'm using geo music so no ads there and even still if you if if i use me music there, there are no ads and no ads even in the title page so which is good no ads in the setting no ads in the app log uh, no set no no apps in in this tab section uh, they call it MIUI cards of course no ads there are no notifications out there uh, now still browser will push notifications because that is from the app side so you can disable the browser and stuff so that's pretty much for this video thanks to david thanks for watching this video hope you liked it hit the like button hit the subscribe button thanks for watching we we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now